Man, it feels good to be back doing a video with you guys, but so many things like real life feels like it's kicking my butt, real job feels like it's kicking my butt. We're back, we're back doing another video. Oh my God, I started going to the gym lately too. I feel like I need to tell you guys all this stuff. And let me tell you, waking up at 5.45 a.m. to get to the gym, come back, shower, and then get to like log into my real job is kicking my absolute unit of a... What's up guys and welcome back to another video. This one is really cool and I think it's one of the best kept secrets I'd say in DaVinci Resolve for color grading. It's a set of shortcuts and hotkeys that I found. It's called the Printer Light Hotkeys. Great to use when you're color grading, great to use for color balancing, and I'm gonna show you guys all of that. Now right before we get started though, if you're not already, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button on this video. It helps me out a ton so I can get this video out to other people, so I can get more subscribers, so that I can start making better and more frequent content for you guys. So if you're not already, videos go up weekly for filmmaking stuff, tutorials, color grading, all that stuff and so much more. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and that way you'll be notified of all future videos going forward. With that, let's get right into the video. All right, so here we are in Resolve. Now you can see I have this image right here. It's actually from the short that I released the other week and we need a color grade. So I went ahead and made a new version of it here, reset the node tree. And right now we're just starting off with this one node. I'm not gonna go deep into node trees right now for this video. What I'm actually gonna do is just show you this shortcut because I think it's insanely useful. And then we're gonna take this and in future videos for the upcoming weeks, we're actually gonna take it and apply it and use it in some color grading shortcuts and some new videos that I have to show you guys. So be prepared for that, be subscribed for that, but here we go. So printer lights, printer lights have actually been around for a really long time, but what you in Resolve, you can actually use them to kind of precisely color grade. So if we go to the second page here of our tools, we have, Printer lights, you can see them here. So they're called bars. If you do the little drop down, they're also on the second page of the color grading tools. And we have lift gamma gain. They work the same way as the color wheel, sort of. You have your, um, you have your luminance, then you have your RGB channels, uh, same all the way across. And then your offset RGB, and then obviously your um, wheels down here for luminance if you want to do, you know, overall values. So let's reset that. Now, let me actually open my scopes here and I'm gonna put it on, let's go with parade so you guys can kind of see what's happening. We actually don't need the luminance. Well, I'll leave the luminance on there for now, but okay, so here's what we're looking at. This is our starting image right here. What we're gonna do is go to the color tab here at the very top and then we're gonna do, we're gonna come down to this option right here. Now, mine is already checked because I use it, but if yours isn't checked, go ahead and check this option. It'll enable your hotkeys for printer lights. Now, what that means is your printer lights, there's they're hot keyed for certain things. You can do full printer light, half printer light, and quarter. Uh, and this is basically just adding varying degrees of you know RGB or cyan, purple, all those colors. And we'll go through it and I'll show you what I mean in a second. But for example, full printer light, which means it's gonna add one whole unit here down in the bottom, and I'll show you in a second. You can actually see, for example, full. We have your master plus and minus keys. Now, oh, I forgot to mention this. For this specifically, you're gonna need a keyboard with a number pad. So if you have the number pad over to the right side of the keyboard with like one, two, three, enter, all that kind of stuff, that's gonna be key because that's where all your key binds are. You can see here, for example, we have master plus ma master minus, right? Is gonna be your plus and enter keys. They're right beside each other on the keyboard. If we go back to our image here, and since hotkeys are already enabled, I'm gonna do plus. You can actually see what's happening. So it's basically affecting the overall luminance, right? Look down here and offset the overall luminance by moving all channels up. So I'm going plus, right? And every single time I do that, it's adding one full unit here and increasing it uniformly. So you got 41, 42, 43. All right, so let's reset that. All right, and you can also see what's happening to the image as well. But so now let's say that we wanna add one individual one of these colors, for example, um, let's say that our image is going in a certain direction, we wanna correct that. So um, let's say for example, here we want to take some of the greens out all right so what we can do is 
Um, the seven and four keys correspond to red. The eight and five keys correspond to green. The nine and six keys correspond to blue. Then you have uh, one and your minus that take away uh, or add cyan. You have two and zero that take and add away uh, or add magenta. And then your three and your dot or you know delete key down here uh, will add or subtract yellow. So in order for us to, as we're looking at this image, I said, what do we, we wanna subtract green, right? Kind of see, maybe it has a little bit too much green. So we can come to the eight and five keys. Five will subtract green a full unit, right? So if we do that, you can actually see right here, see it's gone down to 24. And then if I keep going, 23, 22, 21. And as you can see, the image is starting to change as well. So let's reset that. Now let's say for example that you wanna make a change but you don't want it to be as drastic as what I just showed you because every single time you know, you're know you subtracting green, it gets more and more magenta. Obviously we subtract green, you add magenta. Well, that's a lot. So we can reset this. And then if we go back to our color here and actually look, the quarter printer lights are already key bound by default. It's the same stuff, the same keys that you would use for full printer lights, but it's got a control in front of it. So we're gonna hold control down and just watch here what happens. So if I hold control down and then I go to press five again, which will subtract green, right? Look at what happens down here. We're at 24.75. So we're taking a quarter away out of this green. And then if I keep going, you'll see it's gonna decrease slightly every time. Now, this image doesn't look so bad, even though I've done a little bit of adjustment here. We went from 25 to 22.25, and we're looking a little bit more balanced, and also the change wasn't that drastic. Now this, I believe, is also gonna be reflected in like your wheels, for example. You can see it's starting to move towards magenta here because we're subtracting green, so that's opposite. Now if I reset this, why is this important? Well, as you can see, for example, if I hold down control again and do that, you see how it's just changing the one number for the green channel? All right, well, if I reset this and now, let's say I'm only working with the keyboard and mouse and I grab the center and I, I wanna do the same thing but move it this way. You can see I'm actually affecting all these channels. So not only am I subtracting green and adding magenta, but I've also added blue. Our blue value has gone up. I'm also kind of adding red as well. So this is kind of an imprecise way of doing your color grading and making your changes. So instead, we'll go back and reset, hold control, hit five, and there you go. Now I'm only affecting the green channel. We're moving straight between green and magenta here. And if I wanna add it back, I can do the same thing. And that way you're getting really precise adjustments on every single channel that you decide to affect. This in combination with your scopes is a really great tool for uh, color balancing, color and shot matching, removing just very certain things that you want out of your image, and also doing some looks. If you go and add like a full unit through the printer lights, uh, for example, you wanna add blue into the image or add some green into the image, you can do that and start creating looks more precisely with these tools as well. All right, so that's it. So that's Printer Light Hotkeys. Amazing stuff. Like I said, you can do a lot of stuff with this. It gives you a little bit more precise color grading. It's great, especially if you don't have panels, if you don't have more advanced hardware that you're working with and you're just working with a mouse and a keyboard, which is probably a lot of us, especially making videos and stuff like that. Not all of us are swimming in the clout and have, uh, you know, extra change lying around for $20,000 setups. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that right there, but but these are some great tips that you can use to get better color grading in your videos. Share this video with someone, hit the like button down below, uh, leave a comment if you guys wanna see something else or if this really helped you guys out. Let me know future videos you guys wanna see. Hit the subscribe button. Did I miss anything? I think we're good. And with that, see y'all next time. A lot of it, eh?